Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a move called the Basic Spy. Here's what it looks like. That's the move, and here is a slow-mo. All right, so to begin this move, um, this is another one of those moves that is trickier than it looks um, just because of how they did it in the video game where it goes through the guy's fingers. Um, but just stay persistent, and I think you guys are going to have a good time because uh, this one is kind of fun just because of the extra challenge. Now, to begin this move, you're going to start off hanging onto the safe handle, right? So that's the one that's not going to cut you here with no tape on it. And you're going to grab it in a standard grip, all right? Now, now that I've told you to grab it in a standard grip, what you're going to do is you're going to adjust your grip slightly. And so normally when I grab it with a standard grip, right, I have my thumb about three quarters away up the handle. It's roughly right about in the middle of the safe handle. My index finger is lying on the back. And what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to move it slightly to the left. So now it's right about in the center of the whole knife. It's not attached to the bite handle or anything like that. It's just slightly adjusted. Most of the pressure is still on the safe handle. I'm going to take my index finger, I'm going to move it slightly backwards, like so. And so the effect of this, basically, is it's a normal safe handle grip, except my thumb is moved slightly to the left, my index finger is moved slightly to the right. This is going to come into play later, you don't have to get this perfect right now, you'll figure it out. Now, so you've got this slightly weird grip, what you're going to do is you're going to take your last three fingers here, and you're going to release in such a way that the bite handle and the blade can swing out freely like so now for a normal if you've been flipping at all before for a normal um, ricochet move usually you would use your wrist to pivot to fling out the bite handle like so this is going to work a little bit differently instead of using your wrist what we're going to do is you're going to use your whole arm like so and so i'm pivoting at my elbow here and my wrist is going to stay basically straight okay and so what that looks like, I'm going to release with my last three fingers, pinch in this weird grip, and move my arm over like so in order to fling out the bite handle. Now, you want to do this movement in such a way that it's forceful and fast enough that the blade doesn't get stuck in the handle. If you do this too slowly, you'll see the blade get stuck in the safe handle. We don't want that to happen. And so you're going to do this arc like so in such a way that the blade and the um, bite handle both leave. Okay, so you got this weird grip, at least with your last three fingers, you move your arm over. Now, this is where the move, the weird grip comes into play. What you're going to do is, because your thumb is a little bit off-center, your index is a little bit backwards, what you can do is you can use them to pinch, and you can pinch the inside of the handle like so. All right, so just to recap, you got this weird grip, you release with your last three fingers, you move your arm over. Halfway through this movement, what you're going to do is you're going to Take your thumb and your index finger, you can do a little bit of a pinch and a twist to wind up in this position right here where my thumb is now on the inside of the handle, my index is on the back, and I'll show you what that looks like real quick. Something like this, okay? So weird grip, release, move my whole arm, and do this weird pinch to open up the knife like so. Now, so you've got this down, right? This is pretty straightforward. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is you're just going to complete the arc, but you're going to what you're going to do is, after you have the knife pinched here, you're just going to take your palm, which right now is facing the left, and you're going to point it towards the ceiling, like so. So this is the ceiling, that's the floor. And so, just to go over that one more time, right? Weird grip, release, pinch and twist, palm up, like so. And if you do it right, you're going to wind up in this position right here, which you should know, you just saw, is the key position, I think. This is the coolest looking position from the Spy Basic Open, right? This is kind of like the iconic look. So, once again, right, you've got this weird grip, release, you pinch and twist, palm up to the ceiling, you keep, continue the motion until you wind up right here. Now, of course, you're just going to string this all together, all right, and it'll start off looking something like this, right? And what you can do is you can just get it more and more fluid as time goes on. And the idea is, right, you want it to be one fluid motion where the knife winds up here. What's going to happen to you, right, is you're going to wind up going like this, um, and it's just going to take a little bit of practice just to get the timing down so it winds up right here. 
So you've got this first part down, right? You can release, twist, wind up here. Great. What you're going to do from here is basically you're going to take your, your hand, which is palm up, and you're going to move it back from where you came, all right? But you're going to keep it palm up. This is one of the keys. This next part is a lot easier if you turn your palm to the side, but in the actual move, right, we know, we saw, it went right through his finger, you got to stay palm up, and that's what's going to make this one look just like it does in the video game. So from here, right, you're in this position here, you're going to go back to where you came, and you're going to stop about halfway through the arc. And what that stop is going to do, it's going to allow the momentum to transfer, and you're going to open up the bite handle like so. And so I'll show you what that looks like, right? We do this first part here, we come back, and we wind up just like so. And you see there, even I was already instinctively trying to kind of turn my palm down, what you really want to do, right, is really keep your palm up as much as possible. And that's not because it's easier, I think it's just because it looks cooler. Now, so this is basically what you want to do. And now you can try and put this all together, right, as fast as possible, as fluidly as possible. And the more fluidly you can get this, the better the trick is going to look. Okay, so now, the final part, right, is of course the catch. Now, we saw in, in the actual game, it goes right through his fingers. Of course, that is not technology that we have available to us. And so what we have to do is basically we have to remove, at the last second, when the bite handle is coming here, we have to remove our index finger and catch, like so. Now, I find the best way to remove is, so you're from here, right, you're coming across, right before it hits, is to take my hand and pull it backwards so my index finger slides out, and then push my hand forwards to catch, just like so. So once again, right, you got this weird grip, release, you twist back, you come forward, like so, right when it's about to hit, you pull your hand backwards, and you catch, like so. And I'll show you what that looks like. Something like that, right? So that's the slowest you can do it. This is going to take quite a bit of practice, especially if you're new. Um, but it is it is possible, right? And it's going to look something just like that. And so this part is probably going to take the most practice, I'd say. But hopefully you guys like this one. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.